welcome back guys so in this session we will see the remote debugging of your mobile chrome browser into the desktop browser okay so now why this topic is coming into the picture so this is because uh, if you would have seen in our previous sessions we have discussed how we can automate the mobile browsers by using IPM be it a chrome browser or iPhones Safari browser we can use the IPM and then can automate the browser application okay so there one point I have said is that uh, you can just inspect the elements in your desktop by uh, by right clicking on the elements and then go to the developer tools and you can get that HTML dome and then you can inspect it so there is an exception actually to whatever statement I said so that is basically applicable for the static HTML uh, applications uh, so there are few applications like uh, which is a bit more complex in the functionality so they don't really keep the same uh, what you call same rendering or the same uh, view of your uh, application in desktop and in mobile there is some differences for, for an instance let's say that you have an application where you can add edit and delete a particular entity now what happens uh, because we have the desktop browser it's a big screen uh, we we can accommodate all those options into the desktop browser but whereas in the mobile devices we cannot accommodate that because that will not be a kind of usability and reliable for the users right for that what the application developers do they normally divide the functionalities let's say that ad will be on one screen and if you want to edit you click it and then it goes to another screen or another page where you can edit it and then come back to the preview screen to delete that stance if I will keep the desktop browser and the mobile browser side by side you can get the difference so let me open the browser and the mobile device so you can use either a Android simulator or else you can even connect your real device uh, into the into your computer by using the USB cable and once you are connected to your mobile device you can just use the command adb space devices and if it is detecting your device then uh, from there onwards it is all same okay so for now I am using a simulator so here is my Android simulator and this is my Chrome browser now just hold on to this let me open the browser the desktop browser so this is my desktop browser this is my desktop Chrome browser so if I put side by side these things you can see the layout is different different okay because as you can see here you have one way round trip multi city which is pretty much same there is no problem if you see there is a uh, from and to address and there is also the same two text boxes are there but if you see here there are few things are missing in your mobile view okay like your date your return date then passengers uh, then Indian rupee like uh, whatever the currency you want to select so that normally comes after you search the flight so the first option it is giving because as I was telling all the options we cannot accommodate in your uh, mobile browser and there is one more difference as well so just observe this one now to select something from the uh, drop down let's say I'm clicking on this you can see it is pretty much the simple uh, I mean what you call a drop down right where you can select whatever options you can but in case of mobile device if I click on this you can see there is a new screen is coming okay select arrival city but if you compare here there is not no such uh, what you call screen is coming because we can accommodate this particular drop down in the desktop browser but here it is a different that's why it is coming another layer on top of the from a text box uh, yeah, upon clicking the user on the uh, from uh, drop down it gives you another screen so that you can properly view the options and select a particular uh, option okay that's where actually if you are uh, inspecting the elements on your desktop browser might not work for the mobile devices that's why the remote debugging is replicating the mobile uh, browser view on your desktop browser so that is what we are going to learn today okay so for that let's flip to this particular slide so if you see here there are two options one is uh, I mean without using your mobile devices also you can replicate the mobile browser view 
okay and if in some cases like let's say that if your uh, mobile view is not appearing properly on your desktop browser you can use the actual remote debugging by connecting your mobile device or by launching the simulator okay so let's see one by one now on this desktop browser now let me again open the uh, desktop browser so if you see here this is my desktop browser view right so if i right click on this and click on inspect you can see there is a element tab is coming as usual where it it gives you the html dome and you can get the uh, attributes okay but this is a desktop browser right but uh, we have an option where you can replicate the mobile browser view that is what i'm going to show so there is a default um, icon is there or default option is available which is toggle device toolbar if i click on this you can see it is coming as a mobile view let me expand this one okay you can see the actual view is coming and if you see here there are few mobile devices that is starting from android to ios with the ipad as well so these options are there so upon selecting a particular model you will get the layout pretty much the layouts are same for some devices it is like varying from the 5 uh, 5 inch screen to the 6.4 or 6.5 depending on the size of that device but the responsiveness of the that, uh, mobile browsers will not vary that much okay but just for an example let me choose the pixel 2 XL and you can see you are getting the exact view of your mobile browser if I open the simulator you can see the same option like let me choose this one and you can see exactly the same view you are getting here I mean I did not expand now if you expand your browser window then you can see the same view on that okay so this is pretty much a simple way I mean you can use uh, on any of the application that you are going to test on your mobile browser you can use this you even need not to connect your mobile device or launch the simulator in some case let's say that you don't want to do that then we have this remote debug option okay like let's say that there are some applications which is only working on your real devices only okay or maybe there is some restriction that you can't access into the desktop browser and you want to uh, kind of preview that mobile view itself because real devices will be differing than the simulators in some cases okay so that is what we are going to see so for that what I will do I will again open the browser and in this time uh, let me reset it so that i can get the proper view so resetting back and close everything okay Oops. okay now let me click on the another window new window and this time i will be using this simulator okay so simulator or real devices i was telling you can use any one of that okay so in this case there is one option so in the browser window uh, on the address bar you use this particular url chrome inspect devices okay and then click on enter you will get this view and here make sure that uh, first time sometimes this discover usb devices will be not checked make sure that you will check it and discover network target also you can check this checkbox and if you see here it is coming chrome 74 and with some option here okay this is nothing but my mobile view or the real device uh, if you are connected with real device then it will show whatever application you have connected you have rendered on your mobile browser sometimes uh, it has been observed that you might not get the this option better uh, so for that uh, at that time what you can do you can just refresh the screen once you refresh the screen it will get the uh, session from the mobile device okay here now what i will do i will click on inspect now if i click on inspect i'm getting another view okay now if i expand this one now here you can see it is the replica of your uh, browser actually or the mobile device whatever you are using so on the runtime let's say i'm clicking on this and you can see it is changing here and if i'm clicking on here you can see there the preview is also changing so it's basically the exact mirroring of your android mobile browser screen okay that's how you can do let's say that i want to select something two on the two and then if i am clicking on the search city and if here i will go 
here even i can inspect as usual normal okay here you can see the placeholder is search city and then the type is text or whatever attribute you want you can just grab from there okay so th this is that simple and it is actually chrome's inbuilt feature you need not to install any library or tools and you can use this one for both uh, windows and mac operating system as well okay so that's pretty much and here you can see i've just uh, mentioned and this is the reference actually from the developers.google.com you can just navigate to this particular uh, website to see more in detail about that but for the for the with respect to the ipm and inspecting the element uh, this much feature is enough for you to get started with okay so that's pretty much uh, about the inspecting the mobile browser elements into the your desktop browser so stay tuned in our uh, next session we will see how you can inspect the uh, I iphone devices let's say that in iphone if you have installed your chrome browser then it is easy right because the chrome browser is rendering same but uh, in some cases let's say that if your safari browser is behaving differently than your chrome browser and you want to really want to see how the safari browser is behaving or the responsiveness how is the layout and everything then uh, you have to use definitely your uh, mac operating system for that and we will see how we can inspect the iphone uh, safari browser into our desktop safari browser so Stay tuned and do subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't.